it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Dr. Sleep film. So this came out about a month ago I think and I had to make a video on it and it's been highly requested to do so because it is Stephen King related and it is the sequel to The Shining. So and this film takes place after The Shining so like I have to talk about it I'm so excited and I really really adore this movie especially in comparison to It Chapter 2 this year which kind of was disappointing for me. I'll have my review up but Dr. Sleep was way better than I thought it would be and I'm really excited to just discuss it with you guys. Basically Dr. Sleep follows Dan Torrance who is struggling with alcoholism and the events that happened during The Shining. He is still struggling with those and the trauma that is associated with that. Throughout the film he meets this girl named Abra who has a very similar ability as Danny did when he was young that has kind of worn down over time and Abra is a younger girl and she has the shine similar to how Danny did when he was young and they meet and it's about that. There's also a cult and called the True Knot and they feed off people's steams so when they inhale they kind of when they inhale someone's steam they kind of get their powers and they get stronger and people like Abra are have better steam because they have the shine and they have better and stronger steam to consume so they go after people who are kind of like Abra and kind of like Danny and that kind of thing and they also all have their own kind of abilities as well they all have their own thing too in the cult they each of them have kind of their own ability. The person who runs the cult has their own set of kind of abilities as well and so do the other members so either you're against them or you join them. So either you join them and you're one of them and you consume people's steams or they consume your steam. So that's kind of how that works. I want to say that I really, really enjoyed this film. I thought a lot of the messages were portrayed super well. I thought the characters were great. I loved the actors and actresses in this. I think they all did a great job. I think the true knot was portrayed really well. And in comparison to the book, which I've also read, I was just really impressed with how they adapted it. Uh, going over the characters, I wanted to talk about Dan or Danny. I always call him Danny because I'm so used to The Shining. There were references to the alcoholism that he has, but it wasn't fully shown. And I just wish there was a bit more of the alcoholism themes. I think they could have brought more into it. There were references, which I really appreciated. The board in the room with them writing the name and how Red Rum shows up, which is on all, all the movie posters, that I just thought was really weird, like a really weird way to communicate. I don't know how I felt about that. <laughs> It was just kind of okay. I kind of want to know what you guys think about it. But I really loved, and the highlight of this movie for me is the whole the apples and fall far from the tree kind of theme that happens in comparison to Jack, Jack Torrance and Danny Torrance. And I have always loved that about these books that it really shows how you can try super hard to be not like your mother or your father or someone that you really don't want to be like that you're related to. and it's really interesting that Danny was brought up with a lot of alcohol around him and seeing his dad abuse alcohol and then over time he also develops an addiction to alcohol and he's more prone to that now and I just not that if your mother or father was an alcoholic you're going to be but I just thought that was really interesting how the way they showcased addiction and alcoholism and how just Danny's experiences and what he saw growing up really still affects him and has always affected him. Danny was terrified from his father when he was younger and then one day he becomes very very much like him and that's when he realizes he hits rock bottom especially when he gets into bed with that girl and she has a baby and he's about to steal her money he puts it back because she has a kid and it's just like that's the point that he realized I think that he hit rock bottom and that he was like his dad and I just always loved those kind of messages in films and in books. AA meetings I thought were really nice to have in the movie. Like it definitely did touch on alcohol, al alcoholism, don't get me wrong. I would have liked even more of it, but I really, really liked the AA meetings. I thought those were done super interesting. I've never been to one, so I'm not sure how an actual AA meeting goes, but I just thought that was really nice and someone took him under his wing and that there was just like a nice, genuine person in this movie that didn't have any other malicious intent and that was just wanting to help. I thought that was really nice. Abra, Abra, in my notes I wrote she was fucking sick. Like I really loved her in this movie. I loved her attitude. I love how she stuck out in front of everybody and even at school and her group of friends like she always even at school she always kind of stuck out and I just thought that was relatable. She stuck out for a reason. She stuck out because she's special and she has the shine. She's 
a lot more mature than the people that are at her school and that kind of make fun of her. The length that she went to when the baseball boy went missing was amazing. Like she totally went out of the box like this so much. I love movies where kids are portrayed as so powerful and motivated and brave. Uh, that's the big thing with I, there's so many films and movies where kids are just portrayed as so brave and I think that's so good just to see on the big screen and to see in books and shows and that's just great. So Abram was definitely one of those characters who was just super brave and went to extensive lengths and people thought she was fucking crazy and she did all this stuff because she had an instinct about it and I just thought that was really good. Rose was the call later. Uh, this is the last character I wanted to talk about more in detail. It's just Rose. She's the one who runs the True Knot. Uh, she was, she was a cult leader. Like she was super vindictive and manipulative and exactly what you'd expect. One of the examples that I want to share is just like at the beginning of the film when she lures Violet, a young girl, into the woods to take her steam. And that was, oh my god, I felt so bad. <laughs> like, really? Uh, so Rose was a really interesting leader and I liked the the end scenes were really good. I'm not going to talk about them too much, but I really liked it. I love the references. When they showed the Overlook Hotel, I was literally screeching in my seat because it looked so good and they did such a good job of the Overlook Hotel. Like, and I was constantly kind of fangirling throughout the movie and like squirming at the little references and being like, oh my god, because there was so many good references. If you like The Shining, I think you'd really like this. If you liked the book Dr. Sleep, I do think you'd like this. I have a review for the book and a trailer reaction if you're interested for Dr. Sleep. Overall, I was really, really impressed by this film. I thought it was great. I didn't have that many issues with it, to be honest. I just thought it was, for what it was, I think it was a really good film. I thought some things were kind of weird and strange and like some things could have been done differently, like the, the board and then like there's obviously the steam component, which kind of weird, but like... A lot of things I really liked about it. So it was definitely a good movie for me. Finally a video that's not a rant review. Like finally a movie review that's not negative. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think from a fa like from a Stephen King fan, from just a movie critic or whatever? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And yeah, I will see you guys all super, super soon with a new video. Bye.